good day. This message is for Sun Signs in Virgo. Sun Signs in Virgo, for the first half of February, your spiritual warfare message is that you have a friend or they're a former friend. Y'all must drink together because I had a belch there. A friend or former friend. You're recruiting other people to spiritually attack you using the debris tactic. The debris tactic is where you manifest external circumstances and irrelevant as people that distracts you from your main priorities. To protect yourself and deflect this spiritual warfare attack, you need to banish. You are not banishing a person. You are banishing energies that would distract you from your main priorities. I've put instructions in the description box for banish. Your messages from the universe regarding your recent past, present, and near future was that you've been carrying baggage from your past. There's been tiring and difficult transitions due to you resisting to change. Now, presently, you're either over-giving or over-receiving and hoarding. Well, hoarding means holding on to things, possibly people also, that you do not, I would say, have a use for, for the things. Or you're holding on to people that no longer fit your path. Your ulterior motives are making you unavailable to receiving help. Your ulterior motives are making you unavailable to receive God's help. As long as you persevere and be determined, you'll, you'll be the Meraki. You'll make that energy that pushes you to who and what you're trying to be. When you're doing your tasks, do them with love and not selfishness. Your karma message is that you are on the right path. So whatever plan that you've came up with, stay on it. Keep doing what you've been doing. But while on this journey, you need to do things that are for the betterment of mankind as a whole. Not just for the betterment of you but for the betterment of mankind. Your chakra wisdom card is the sacral chakra and the theme is abundance. You are worthy and you deserve an abundance of anything that you require. Watch your thoughts to ensure that you are honoring and respecting yourself. Honor yourself by knowing that you are worthy to receive. Be open to receive now in this moment. Remind yourself that it is a sign of strength 
to ask for help. Your healing mantra is demystifying the darkness. Demystifying the darkness. A brief synopsis of that is stop hiding your shadow to pass it off as light. Don't do that. The mantra is my shadow shows me where my love needs to be sent. It's ideal for dealing with night terrors if you're having problems sleeping and transcending the perception of scarcity, meaning you don't have enough, whether it's friends, money, just you don't have enough energy and for overcoming fear. Spiritual awakenings can be scary, but you don't have anything to fear is the universe. So when you're feeling uneasy, you need to repeat this mantra. My shadow shows me where my love needs to be sent. When darkness is demystified, the scariest feelings, thoughts, ideas, and beliefs are seen as cries for attention from your most hurt and broken parts. Once the darkness is illuminated, you are able to be the light that transforms the dark instead of hiding in the light to avoid moments of darkness. Just as the light can acknowledge how much pain lurks in darkness, it is the power of your unconditional love that brings your shadow out of hiding. So you don't want to hide your shadow. You want to figure sorry one of my babies wanted to give me a hug at any who your shadow is there to let you know where you need to put your unconditional love okay your how to love yourself affirmations that you need to tell yourself is I listen with love to my body's messages. I take a nice deep breath and release all resistance to healing. Don't resist healing. It brings negative karma. The second affirmation that came out is I forgive myself for any wrongdoing. I no longer judge or criticize myself. I am free to love who I am. You are beautiful or handsome. You are worthy of love. You are abundant and you are kind and happy. Okay? Your self-care for the soul, daily rituals to do for the next week and a half to raise your vibration. For your inner child, plan a vacation. Come up with a date, location, and then manifest the resources that you need to achieve that vacation. If a vacation is not in your financial or time restraints, use a visualization meditation for 10, 15 minutes a day 
of where you would want to vacay. You're putting it in the universe to bring you a vacation, okay? Your present self wants you to do deep breathing. And your higher self wants you to connect with your womb. If you're a female, put your hands on your womb and talk to it. Seriously, ask how it's feeling. What does it need you to do? Maybe you need to do some womb clearing, some womb healing. If you do not have a uterus, you need to connect to the womb of the cosmos. Talk to the universe. Spend some time with the womb that you came from. So by planning a vacation, doing some deep breathing, and connecting with your womb, male or female, those are the self-care rituals that you really need to do daily to raise your vibration. I've put resources and tools in the description box below, and I'll see you next time.